Are you tired of seeing those annoying show warnings messages cluttering your Hibernate logs? You're not alone. Today, we're gonna tackle this common issue and show you how to, to disable those warnings for good. I completely understand your frustration. It can be really overwhelming when you're trying to focus on your project and these warnings keep popping up, consuming bandwidth and cluttering your logs. You're definitely not the only one facing this. Let's dive into the specific question at hand. One user asked how to disable the show warning statements in Hibernate while using MySQL. They mentioned that these warnings are taking up considerable bandwidth in their activity log. Sound familiar? If so, let's find a solution together. So what's causing these warnings? Hibernate issues show warning statements by default, which can be quite annoying. The good news is that there's a way to change the logging level to reduce or eliminate these messages. Let's break it down step by step. And stick around. I have a great tip at the end that will help you manage your Hibernate logging even better. To disable the show warning statements in Hibernate, the user should first locate the logging configuration. Since the user is using the default settings, they will need to add a specific property to the Hibernate configuration file. Next, the user should add the property to set the log level to error. This will prevent the show warning statements from being logged. After adding the properties, the user should save the configuration file and restart the application. This will apply the new logging settings. Finally, the user should monitor the logs to ensure that the show warning statements are no longer appearing. If they still see warnings, they may need to check for other logging configurations. Fun fact, did you know that Hibernate was named after a term for a state of inactivity? Well, we're about to make your logging a lot more active by cleaning it up. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative solution provided by another user suggests that Hibernate enables MySQL show warnings by default, which can lead to performance issues. To disable this, you can set Hibernate to use a proper logger. This can be done by adding a JVM runtime parameter, either dorg.jboss.logging.provider slf4j or nidas.jboss.logging.provider equals log4j. If you choose slf4j, configure logback.xml by adding a logger for Hibernate types at the error level. For log4j, add a similar line in log4j.properties to set the logger for Hibernate types to error. That's it for that response. Let's explore another one. An alternative solution shared by a user involves adjusting the log level for Hibernate. They found that if no specific logging options are set, Hibernate defaults to using JDK logging via JBoss logging. By setting the log level to severe, they successfully stopped the show warnings commands. They discovered this by checking the logger names and confirming that the root logger was the only one with a set level. However, method is a broad approach as it disables logging for all loggers that inherit from the root. The user also noted that while this solution is effective for quick projects, it's better to explicitly configure a logging framework for more predictable results. That wraps up that answer. Let's move on to another one. An alternative solution provided by another user is to disable JDBC warnings by adding a specific property to your hibernate.properties file. If you don't have this file, you can create it at the same level as your application.properties file. Here's a pro tip. Regularly check your logging configuration to ensure it's optimized for your needs. This can save you a lot of headaches down the line. And there you have it. By adjusting your logging level, you can keep your Hibernate logs clean and efficient. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe for more tips and tricks.